OK, let's lay this out there to just remind everybody that it was Johnson that communicated not only the rules of lockdowns, but the reasons why we needed to enter into them. Here's a clip from one of his public addresses. So we can protect the NHS's ability to cope and save more lives. And that's why we've been asking people to stay at home during this pandemic. And though huge numbers are complying, and I thank you all, the time has now come for us all to do more. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. Because the critical thing we must do to stop the disease spreading between households, that is why people will only be allowed to leave their home for the following very limited purposes. Shopping for basic necessities as infrequently as possible, one form of exercise a day, for example, a run, walk or cycle, alone or with members of your household, any medical need to provide care or to help a vulnerable person, and travelling to and from work, but only where this is absolutely necessary and cannot be done from home. That's all. These are the only reasons you should leave your home. You should not be meeting friends. If your friends ask you, to meet, you should say no. You should not be meeting family members who do not live in your home. You should not be going shopping except for essentials like food and medicine. And you should do this as little as you can. And use food delivery services where you can. If you don't follow the rules, the police will have the powers to enforce them, including through fines and dispersing gatherings. To ensure compliance with the government's instruction to stay at home, we will immediately close all shops selling non-essential goods, including clothing and electronic stores and other premises, including libraries, playgrounds and outdoor gyms and places of worship. We'll stop all gatherings of more than two people in public, excluding people you live with. And we'll stop all social events, including weddings, baptisms and other ceremonies, but excluding funerals. Parks will remain open for exercise, but gatherings will be dispersed. No Prime Minister wants to enact measures like this. I know the damage that this disruption is doing and will do to people's lives, to their businesses and to their jobs. Click here for some more stuff about Johnson being a great big fat liar.